Hi, I'm Leela Viss, the author of the iPad Piano Studio Keys to Unlocking the Power of Apps. My piano students are hooked on playing JoyTunes iPad app called Piano Maestro. Little did I know that two young pianists would even find new pieces to play by exploring within the app. Here's their story on how they discovered Going Undercover by Daniel McFarlane. We found it on this app called Piano Maestro, and you go to library, and there's, I mean, you go to library, and then methods, and then there's a book called Supersonics. Did you yellow, delay? Yeah, and, and it's yellow, and then. And the then book. you can, like, press the next button, and you might see the word yeah, you going have undercover. Yeah, you keep pressing the arrows, and, and you'll see. Going undercover. Yeah. Okay, so how did you pick that one, though? Were you just listening to them all? Yeah, we listened yeah. to them all, and then we found that one. We were like, mm. "So when did cool. you listen?" Yeah, and when did you listen to them? Uh, we listened to them like every day. <laughs> yeah, but when we first got it, we listened to all of them, like every single song they have, and we found that one, and we love them. <laughs> yeah. As the young gal with crutches explained, within the library of Piano Maestro, there are various method books and supplementary materials. Tapping on Supersonics A allowed them to see and hear all the tunes from this book, which sparked their great ambition. I like the time machine one, but that one's like a little too hard. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually not. But I if your students enjoy shopping within the Piano Maestro growing library and find the music by Daniel McFarlane and other composers in the app irresistible, it means you may want to purchase the hard copy or digital editions of the selections. Here are the steps to make sure these digital editions find a safe place on your iPad. First, you'll need to purchase your digital sheet music from Daniel's site, supersonics.com. Don't forget to purchase the backing tracks as well, as these are an exciting option for students to use as they master a choice piece. After you make your purchase, you will need to download the files onto your computer or your iPad. Upon purchasing, you'll receive an email with an order number and a link to download the files. Dropbox is a smart choice to store both the digital sheet music and the backing tracks on your iPad. It's best to have a specific app to view and annotate your digital music, and the top choice is Fourscore. After opening the sheet music in Dropbox, tap on the screen, and on the top right-hand corner of your iPad, it will read Open in iBooks or Open in. Choose Open in, and a selection of various apps will appear. Tap on the Fourscore icon, and the document will magically open in Fourscore. Fourscore will allow you to organize your scores. Tap on the note icon on the upper left hand side to open the library. Tap on all scores, then the supersonic scores. Beneath the title, add the composer's name, which will help you access the file quickly. At the bottom of the screen, you can easily scroll from one page to the next until you find the desired piece. Oh my gosh, that's your favorite song! Oh, yeah. We've been wanting to play that every all week. Yeah, and I already we already part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew the first part of it. Obviously, Going Undercover was the number one choice of these two, especially the young boy. He's an eager beginner and quickly working his way through Alfred's premier piano course. I printed off the Going Undercover piece. We added lyrics and color-coded the eighth note patterns in the right hand. Singing the right hand words while playing the left hand helped him hear and feel the length of the left hand note values. Like the colored tape in the picture, Fourscore also allows you to annotate or color code the score. Tap on the screen and the menu bar will appear at the top. Tap on the toolbox on the upper right hand side and find and tap the pen icon. This will allow you to choose a pen or highlighter with which to write on the score. With this mode, it is easy to color code patterns to encourage those early readers. Remember those backing tracks you purchased? They're back in your Dropbox but there's a pile of them, and that means they've been zipped up. This zip file can only be opened on your iPad with the help of another app called File App. Return to your Dropbox and find the zip file. Tap on the screen, which will provide open in prompts. Choose File App. Locate the zip file and let the app unzip the file. You can listen to the track right from this app on your iPad, but if you tap on the square with the upward arrow on the upper right hand side of the screen, a prompt to open in other apps will appear.
This is when you're going to want the app called AnyTune. Learning a song usually requires slow practice, which is much more fun when the backing track can slow down as well. AnyTune will not only slow down any tune in your iTunes library or file app files, it can set practice loops and so much more. The Step It Up trainer will loop a desired loop, pause to allow for practice, then play the loop again at a slightly faster tempo, then pause and repeat until the section is back up to 100% tempo. Oh my gosh, that's your favorite song. We've been wanting to play that every week. Isn't that what you want to hear when students walk in the door? I did, thanks to Piano Maestro, Daniel McFarlane, and the power of apps. From my iPad Piano Studio to yours,